We just cracked open the back of our box truck. As you can see, it's kind of a disaster in there. Not kind of, it's, it's a real, real disaster in here. Just a big mess. Uh, a lot of stuff here. A lot of, I mean, it looks pretty. I mean, there's a lot of value here, of course. Just gonna take a while to get it. I mean, here, we just barely opened the box truck and we've already got, you know, there's probably 20 bucks worth of stuff in there, if not more already. So, a lot of value here. It's just gonna take a while to work through. All right, here's the first real box I've gotten to. Let's see. It's kind of interesting. It's like a bunch of boxes within each other and they all look like they're houses. I wonder, maybe there's like a lid to this or something. Fisher Hill Studios, 1978. It's interesting, I'll set that aside. Hopefully, I wonder if there's tops to those and I'll see if I find the tops somewhere else in here. Okay, looks like we got a digital camera made to go underwater, real cheap. But still should be able to sell it. Got a bag here. What's this? Get this thing out. What is this? Oh, look at this. Little Smurfs a poppin' train. It's actually really cool. That'll sell. Got plastic containers. A little Valentine's Day bear. Got a hat. This is interesting. What's going on here? Mini cashmere warmers. $20 price tag on them. That's, that's, that's interesting. Okay, okay, I get it. So you you break this, which produces heat, and you drop it in your little cashmere warmer here. Okay, I get it, I get it. The house that Jack built. The insulated cup. Bunch of pins, M and M pins. All right. Oh look, here's the other pack. Goes the other warmer. And that's that's the tote. Everything else in there is garbage. But honestly, that's not that much garbage. Well, wait. I might set that aside. That's just paper. Okay. There wasn't that much garbage in there, so it's pretty good. And a lot of value there too, probably, I don't know, 20, 30 dollars, maybe more. I guess it depends on how much some of that stuff is worth, but that's a pretty good start. All right, here's another tote. Looks like we've got some old games here. Okay, so you wind this up. Boom! Wow, that is so cool. Boom! Oh no, I didn't wind it enough. That's pretty cool. I bet you that'll sell really well. Try some of these on eBay. What do we got? We got another one here. Yeah, this was an old electronic game. Oh man, we've done really well in the past with these on eBay. So I'll be setting those aside. What's this one? It's not like a horse race pocket game. Oh, that is so cool. It's like magnets in there. Oh man. Awesome. Here's another one. Going ape. Huh. Lots of these. 
somebody had these in an antique mall and you can see the price tags on them, eight bucks a piece. And if we got eight bucks a piece for them, that'd go a long ways to paying for this entire locker, just these games here. Who knows what else is in this box. I'm gonna go get another box so that I don't mix eBay stuff with store stock. First aid until the doctor arrives. This is interesting. I wonder when that was written. Look at that shirt. It's interesting. A little Mr. Bartender measure. Measures and pours. Might try that on eBay as well. Pick up cards from a casino. Bunch of vintage uh, matchbox. Well, what are these? Are they matchbox? Yeah, matchbox. That's a Tootsie toy, that little one there. That looks like a uh, Monopoly piece. These we'll probably put on eBay as well. They're not in very good shape. A lot of them are broken, but to sell them was a lot on eBay. Pretty popular. Tennessee Homecoming. Here's another game. Interesting. And then it looks like we got a bunch of ties and some belts. All right, well, I'll finish going through that, and then we'll go on to the next box. I just found this ball canning jar. I don't know a lot about these jars, but this one looks like a very, very old one. So, I know usually you can tell, you can get a, you can get a general idea of the date by the pattern of the, the ball on there, so I'll, I'll look that up and see, but just looking at the glass, you need a lot of imperfections in it. Looks like a very, very old canning jar. That's pretty cool. Here's another kind of interesting item I just found. Some Confederate money. This one's marked 1862. I mean it's in terrible, terrible condition. But it's not something you see very often. Smaller little tote here. Let's see what's in there. That's interesting. A whole bunch of license plates. What do we got? We got Georgia, another Georgia, another Georgia, Georgia, Florida, vanity plate for a Porsche. Not a vanity plate, but a uh, front plate. A blank one. 
Georgia, Florida, Florida, Georgia, 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 Georgia. Mostly Georgia, looks like. It's, it's kind of interesting. Some people do uh, crafts and stuff with this. Some people cut out the letters to spell different things. Some people just make backdrops and stuff out of old license plates, so they sell really well. Got another tote here. I'm gonna start speeding up how I go through these, because as you can see, I've barely gotten into our truck yet. I mean, this is just one side of this. There's still, uh, I, I, I've maybe gone through 10% of the stuff that's in here, so this is gonna take forever. Uh, so I'm gonna start speeding up how I go through these totes. I'm just gonna pop it open, show you guys what it looks like, and then I'm gonna sort through them, and I'll show you guys if I find anything interesting. Just because it would take forever if I were to show all of this on video. All right, so here's what this one looks like. Oh, look at this. That's the top to one of one of these. Let's see. I think. Yeah, I think it's the top. I think it's the lid to this one. Just like that. I wonder if those are like a canister set. Maybe. I don't know. All right, well, I will sort through this, and I will show you guys if I find anything interesting. All right, well, that last tote didn't have much in it. It had some uh, stuff that we'll go out in our store, extension cord, uh, a little Walt Disney collectible there. This is an older bottle. It's really thick glass. Uh, it's kind of cool. Biscuit cutters, a couple old ones like that in there. Some other odds and ends, but nothing really interesting. So now I'll go through this box and see what's in there and I'll let you guys know if I find anything. Okay, so just a couple little items that are notable out of that tote. An older tool here. And then this Monopoly game. That looks quite old to me. I'll have to look it up to see. But, I mean, it's here. Copyright 1936. I mean, so who knows when this one was made, but that looks like an older one to me, so I will look into that and see, but kind of cool. This is day two for us, sorting through this load of stuff. Uh, we've only got about, I don't know, 25% of this truck sorted through so far. I thought this was going to be just a so-so locker. I thought the real value a uh, locker out of those three was going to be the one with the tools, but I think now, I think this is going to be our big value locker here. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of value here. Uh, a lot of stuff. I think and this person was obviously a, a reseller or something. Oops. You can see some of their items here, like just found this Canon lens. And a lot of this stuff is going to go on eBay. A lot of stuff that's new in the, new in the packaging. We found a lot of um, old Tonka metal trucks and different toys. Lots of, of pretty good items. Lots of stuff to go in our store. And we have a lot left to go through here. See if we find anything else that's just real fantastic. We have a bunch of totes that look like this, just full of small toys. And so I am going to put them in plastic bags, just do lots of toys, and see what we have here for value. Alright, so I got about five bags out of that box. I'm thinking maybe four bucks a bag here uh, out of our store. So that's $20, and that was a tote that was about half full of toys. We're going to make a good bit of money just on, on these little toys. There wasn't much furniture in this toy locker, but there were a couple of desks like this. There's these two, and I think there's a couple more still buried in there. We'll probably get 40 or 50 bucks a piece for these. One more box here, let's see. Alright, looks like some more toys in there. Some other odds and ends. What's this? I'll go through this and I will show you guys what I get out of there. 
There's still all this left to go through. This is pretty representative of what we've been finding in these boxes, so I thought I'd show you guys. A lot of just miscellaneous toys and odds and ends, some craft supplies, stuff like that. Individually, this stuff isn't worth very much money at all. Uh, but all together, the toys and everything, and then the bin that they were in, that's worth about 25 bucks for us out of our store. And so, I mean, probably a couple hundred boxes like this, and I mean, do the math, it ends up being quite a bit of money. Pretty good. We just found all this stuff in the bottom of a box. Uh, there's a little deer antler spike. Then all these bags are full of shark teeth. Tons and tons of shark teeth. There's some other stuff mixed in here and there, but for the most part it's shark teeth. And then we've got a little strand of freshwater pearls up there. Pretty sure that's what they are. Uh, here we've got a stopwatch that works. It's missing the, uh, the front of it though. And then a little arrowhead. So that's a pretty good little find. That's going to be it for this video. I was hoping to get through all that locker and all those toys and everything, but we didn't finish it. So we'll have to do that uh, next week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more like it.